we've actually started another two videos and never finished them. Now, we had a Harrier CB and it was in such poor condition that when I discovered the output transistor had failed, I thought to myself, why would the customer want to spend 40 quid, something like that, on having this service which is in such poor condition? So I'm going to think we'll offer him a set the same identical set for about 35 quid fully serviced you know things like that uh, we've got a we don't do things like this but I've got a Bose docking station -y thing for an iPod you know I'm really really not into Bose products and I'm really really not into Apple products um, if I wanted Apple products I'd want an Apple one wouldn't I because obviously it would be fantastic and they wouldn't need to bring out an Apple 14 um, so, lots of time, obviously, being on there with the organ. This is an optimization. There are five sets in front of this. I'm going to just do this because it's not faulty, it's an optimization. So, he says that he has reports that it, uh, it sounds quiet and, um, and that. Uh, and Thunder Pulse says I haven't got any engineers available. And theoretically, this one isn't available for <laughs> until that organ's finished. But there you go. Let's get the... Uh, oh, I'll, I'll, before I do that, let's test the set. So we'll get the parameters written down. I did one of these uh, for our, one of our own demonstrations some years ago, probably about 2014. So I don't mind doing another one. And out of all the sets that use this particular innards, this particular chassis, uh, I came to the conclusion then that the Thunder Pole was the best one. And that often is the case. Right, uh, I'll get a piece of paper. Oh, there's one on the floor. Like everything else on the floor. Well, that shouldn't be on the floor. I've paid CPC's bill, so we'll use that. Right, we'll put picture in picture on. Let's make sure it's there. That's it. Still haven't reset the memory on these cameras, but it'll do. You'll be able to see what we're doing. So we've, we'll get this connected up to our power supply. I don't have any problems with putting this straight on at 13.8 volts because it's not a faulty set. Even better if I could undo that. If you want to see the video of us initially looking at the Harrier CB and then abandoning it, <laughs> I will publish it if you want. I'm all for the publishing failure videos. That's not failure on our part. <laughs> It's uh, just pointless. Right. There we go. 13.8 volts on the power supply. And if we can find the on and off switch, I have printed off an instruction book. Because I'm unlikely to know where anything is. So it's got squelch. Put it on channel 20. So it's, he's got it set up for both sets of channels. So in that case, we'd better optimize it for. I'm gonna. I'll ask him. I won't go any further until I've asked him. But we'll see how it's doing right now on that UK channel 20. And if I don't get a response uh, by this evening, we'll just do it UK 40 as I normally would do and always say I will do so if people want them to work um, on the 80 channels you have to appreciate they work better on on one bank of 40 so if you're never going to use the EU, EU set of channels like I'm not then 
always opt for these things to be set up on the UK set of channels only. Uh, it will work better. So here we go. Let's look at the power. I'm going to switch it to 3 watts and it's doing more than 3 watts. In fact it's doing 5.2 watts so that's got to come down. Well, it didn't come out of the factory doing that did it? Deviation. Wally. Wally. I don't get this set. It's absolutely stupidly over the top on deviation as well. Wally. Wallow, one two, one two, one two, wallow, one two, one two, wallow, wallow. So, if we can just get a figure, uh, we're now on the 25 scale, so that's there, wallow, it's eight kilohertz. So nobody can quote can hear him because he's quiet, he says. Well he's so loud that nobody can hear him. That's absolutely ridiculous. The wire's so thin that it just fell off the speaker. And there you go, that's new sets for you. Well, this is one of those sets which has got no receive adjustments. So in actual fact, I don't need to know which bank of channels he uses because there's nothing to adjust. So we've got FM deviation there. Another modern set with a relay in it. So that's the power adjustment. And the deviation. Trying to get the microphone where the speaker is on the little oscillator is an art. Wallow. It's actually been set to full. Wallow. Wallow. 
Here we go. So, peaking at two and a half deviation, and we're doing a full four watts. Right, um, presumably sets AM capable by reprogramming it on a different country like Spain. So I'll have a look at the instruction book and um, we'll come back after I've done that. Right, so I've got the copy of the instructions. So the uh, the customer's actually going to sell it when he gets it back so <laughs> right anyway what i'm going to do I'll, I'll set up the am but not charge for doing that we have different types for what people do um he's not specifically asked for that but as part of the demonstration we will do that so it's a matter of setting it up for another country um because this was built before am was automatically included on cpt for the uk so that happened in 2014. So what we need to do is to put it on, it's usually, yeah, Spain. So EI, or we could put it on EU. That would give us AM. So we'll do that. So follow the instructions. Might be handy if we put it on the same way on that I can see it. And we'll turn it off. Whenever, wherever the on and off is there. So, whilst pressing F and memory buttons, F and memory, that and that, switch on. Now we can select a different set of channels so it's EU which is that one so it switches off switch it back on again and that's then locked it into the EEPROM and now we can switch mode and it's gone into AM so what we're going to do now I'll select channel 40 I don't have to twiddle my test set knobs as far that way there we go, channel 40, 27405. Still got picture and picture on, yep. And we need to go into AM mode on the test set. Now we'll just have to retune it. Wallow, wallow. And I'm going to be doing the educated guess that the adjustment here, I will just put the other glasses on, which isn't labelled, is going to be the AM mod. Because I can't see any other adjustments. So we've done the FM, we've got the 4 watt thing, uh, we've got the low power one for countries where that's... Um, necessary and then we've got this so I'll get the oscillator back out so I don't run out of whistle so you can see that now reading on the meter so does it move you know what it doesn't does it not that I can see. So what other adjustments is there that I haven't seen? Wallow. I, I don't know. Hang on a minute. It's different. It's probably got some kind of AGC. Wallow. Wallow. Yeah. 
So I can't do it with the oscillator. I'm having to do it with my voice because of the AGC. So it is AM mod. I was going to say there's nothing else left. So uh, we've checked that. It wasn't uh, it wasn't screwdriver. It was actually fine. So I'll now take this back to the UK set of channels. So turn it off. Switch it on. And pop that into UK. Block that in like so. And back to channel 20. So we'll just check that we've still got what we wanted in FM. So I'll retune the test set once again. Wallo. So that's working. Transmit power is it's just over the four watts. So as the set heats up, of course that drops. That's that's fine. It's within what we're allowed uh, on the um, shall we say test error. <laughs> so um, what does it leave us with? Well, there's no other adjustments. So you get what you're given. So. This is what we've now got. We've now got four watts there. We've now got 2.2 .2 to 2.5 kilohertz. And we've got AM mod. Ninety percent plus frequency. It's not adjustable. Let's put that over to there. It is slightly low, but it's not off, off by anything stupid. So that's that. So your reference crystal is here. But it has no adjustment. A bit like the Uniden radios. Um, I'm sure they save, must save about 30 pence when they don't do any adjustments. But it's intolerance. It's interesting, it's 10.25 that reference crystal, and uh, traditionally they tend to be 10.24. Making sure I've not missed anything. Nope. I'll take the bottom off this in a bit just to see. Now then, we're going to put the signal generator on. So we'll set that to plug in the extension speaker which goes to the test equipment so drop the squelch off See what the cyanide meter's got to say for itself. So we've got actually 0 0.42 microvolts. That's absolutely fine. RX 0.42 microvolts. For 12 dB cyanide. I wonder what it's supposed to be. Does it? Is there a specification? It's supposed to be 0.25, but 
but it doesn't tell us it doesn't tell us what the specification is so that you know <laughs> for what well let's tell you just make sure the RF gain actually works because you'd probably be aware that some sets the RF gain only works in AM So, 0.25 of a microvolt. It's there, and it does 8 dB, but it's still very much readable. So I'll go on the other scale, that's 0 0.25, 0 0.2. It's hearing right down to 1.15, so it's nice and sensitive. No adjustments, not even the discriminator or detector, what you want to call it. So um, that's it. What's that second socket on the back? We've got the extension speaker socket. I've got another one next to it. It's supposed to be blank. Good. So it should work absolutely fine. And it says in instructions it's a 24 volt set. But it says on the back it's 13.8. So it says here 13.8 to 24 volts. It's not my set. I'm not going to put 24 volts on it when it doesn't say so on the back. Um, do you remember the um, the Moonraker set? And it said it was 24 volts, I, and it blew up when I turned it onto 24 volts. I did. I was able to repair it. It was my set, but uh, I don't think we're doing experiments with customer ones. So that's working absolutely fine. Let's see how the squelch works. Again, it's not adjustable. So I'll we'll turn that to full. It's a bit harsh at uh, one millivolt on full, but it does actually come through. So it's not like one of these sets where it never ever comes through. And on its most sensitive setting, let's put this test set, we'll park it at 0.3 of a microvolt. We'll turn the squelch down set it to the threshold, put the signal generator back on. So it's coming in at 0 0.6 of a microvolt, it's leaving it 0 0.3. Very nice range on that, that's very good. Um, and we'll look at the S meter, it's supposed to be so that it's 100 microvolts for S9. Well that's S9, so it's a bit um, what you'd call a lazy needle, but I'll just make sure I've got the RF gain at full. I have yet. So, uh, but, and the the RF meter for transmit is pre-programmed. Doesn't matter how many watts the radio is doing, it always goes right across. So, it's just a glorified TX light. So there we have it. I'll just hold that wire back on. I'll just turn the set off and take the bottom off just to make sure there's no frequency adjustment which I wasn't previously aware of. I don't I really don't expect there's going to be anything. So I've forgotten how it does say twelve or twenty four, but I'm still not going to put twenty four volts on it. Yes, I I think uh, it'll work very well around Scratchy Corner. absolutely nothing while I've got the bottom off just make sure these screws are tight we don't have any microphone here where it rattles as it receives to be honest I don't think we've had any Thunderpole sets that have been awful
Right, so we'll plug that back in. So remember, when you take this type of, the lid off this type of radio, that there isn't much wire and it's very, very thin. So it's a bit of an art to get it back in. Which I haven't done yet. I'm probably trying to put it in the wrong way around anyway. No, 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 no. There we go. I have to admit, I find, and I've said this many times before, I find that with the new sets, most of the cheaper sets work better than the expensive sets. And uh, on the on the actual way they work, uh, you're just buying more useless features the more you seem to pay. So I was expecting this to perform on our on the air test very well. So I'm going to plug the aerial in instead of the test equipment. We'll switch the test gear off, save a bit of electricity, plug the aerial in and see if we can hear any of those people with their burners on. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> One Anna Roger. It changes channel quickly, there's no waiting. Seeing as it's got CPT on it. I've just got foreign interference, it's unusable. Forget that. Nineteen or Roger. You're joking. Right, we'll do an on the air test later on. Thank you for watching the optimization of the Thunderbolt T two thousand, which is probably still a current model.